heat wave made life miserable for more than one hundred million people across the country from texas to the great lakes we certainly see it here in the miami valley and even east to new england and so far at least six people have died in the heat and in florida eight people were hurt in the lightning strike at clearwater beach cbs news correspondent meg oliver has more on the brutal weather much of the nation is roasting triple digits in some places the humidity makes it feel even hotter under an excessive heat warning, these people waited in a line that snaked around the block just to get into a New York City public pool today. On Saturday, these kids got in and took refuge underwater. It's hot, like, you, it can make you sweat hot. For others, though, the heat is extremely dangerous. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio declared a state of emergency lasting through the weekend. We have not seen temperatures like this in at least seven years. In Washington, D.C., fountains on the mall provided relief. So did paddling on the Potomac. Others escaped to the air-conditioned comfort of the Smithsonian Museums. The mail went out in Ohio and beyond on Saturday, but the heat was oppressive. Oh, it's rough. <laughs> At the Cincinnati Zoo, water hoses helped elephants stay cool. Other animals chilled out on ice. Saturday's heat also sparked violent storms and flash flooding. It buckled pavement on a busy interstate in South Dakota, shutting it down. Climate scientists say there is more to scorching days to come here and across the globe. It's horrible. Like, I never felt this hot in years. Since this heat wave started, New York City has seen three days in a row with a heat index over 100. New York City typically sees about two days a summer with the same heat index. A recent study from the Union of Concerned Scientists finds by the year 2050, there may be 20 days in triple digits, and by 2085, there could be more than 40 days of over 100 degree feels like temperatures. Meg Oliver, CBS News. So it helps, Jesse, but you don't have to be a meteorologist to look at the map and, <laughs> and play, find where the rain came through today, because mm -hmm. it really severely cooled us off tonight after that brutal heat this weekend. Oh, and it's very welcome, isn't it? Yeah, you it's bet. nice oh, to my cool gosh, those temperatures it? down. We actually have a time-lapse video from earlier today. This is at Austin Boulevard. That's where the camera's located. And when we had a strong storm that moved through, actually, this was a severe thunderstorm. You can see that wedge of that shelf cloud moving in, the cold air rushing in, and it's popping up those clouds. And eventually you see the heavy rain engulf the area. These formed very, very rapidly, and they kind of continued throughout the majority of the evening hours. We're just now finally starting to see things subside. Temperatures at 73 degrees. We've cooled off here quite a bit. Humidity has still hung around. However, we're going to see that changing here very soon as well. And on the bulk of those thunderstorms now exiting the Miami Valley, some thunderstorms down in Wilmington, but other than that, Due to the cooler temperatures with all of this rain we've seen, the atmosphere has now more or less stabilized. And what that means is we're not seeing a lot of activity after this. Those cooler temperatures quieting things down and the bulk of that activity will move its way off towards the south and towards the east. So we have that warm air continuing out in front of this front, that warm air and humidity that's meeting up with cool air. Where these are meeting up, that's the trigger for thunderstorms in central Ohio. And on the back side of this low pressure system, that's where the bulk of cooler temperatures and significantly lower dew point temperatures is going to push in. So once that cold front passes by, really throughout the day tomorrow, you're going to notice some big changes. Now, we still do have a chance for a few thunder showers throughout the overnight hours. But again, uh, we've seen things really stabilize. So it should be fairly quiet from this point on, especially compared to what we saw earlier this evening as we head throughout the day tomorrow, starting off mostly cloudy and mostly cloudy for a good portion of the day, but towards the end of the day, that's when that dry air really kicks in and you'll notice that the skies are going to clear and those dew point temperatures will fall as well, meaning it's going to be less humid. So a few showers are possible to start us off in the morning hours, but as we head into the afternoon, the dry air works in, skies begin to break apart a little bit. We'll see some sunshine towards the end of the day Tomorrow's high temperature topping off at about 78 degrees, much cooler. And again, it's going to be much less humid towards the end of the day. 70 degree dew point temperatures right now. Tomorrow afternoon, we drop them into the 50s. And by the time we get into the morning hours on Tuesday and even uh, go into the afternoon hours on Tuesday, we're down in the 40s. And that is going to be extremely comfortable, especially considering temperatures will be in the 70s and we'll have a good amount of sunshine to go along with it. 
That sunny stretch will last for quite some time. High pressure is going to move in and it's going to really stick around. We're going to see a lot of sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and likely even into Friday and Saturday, steadily warming up as the week goes on. However, humidity is being held down. We're not going to see that humidity increase like it did this past weekend here. So temperatures up to about 80 degrees on Wednesday will stay in the 80s for Thursday and Friday, but again, make it through a few showers there on Monday, and we're looking at near perfect weather. Make sure you tune in to New Center 7's Daybreak Edition starting at 425. Meteorologist Dante Jones will have the latest to help you plan your day. Montgomery County wants you to take a closer look at your water, the event where you can find out just what's in it this week. Close isn't cutting it for the Reds right now. David Bell's bunch is running out of time, and it's not a great day for a walk over in Ireland today, but this guy didn't seem to mind at all. Sports is up next. Stay right there. Before your day starts, firefighters are being very cautious. News Center 7 is on the street. Firefighters couldn't get hoses back through there. Working to bring you answers. And one of the workers here really helped firefighters put this fire out. Start every day with coverage you can count on. St. Leonard.